Hello, I'm Jung Chol, the professor of computer science in IDC and IDPB in Cambodia. Today, I will show you how to set up HTTPS using mode SSL on CentOS. Okay, uh, this video will have two parts. Part one focus on will focus on the basic concept on SSL and has six steps. Part two will focus on HTTP configurations from step seven to step nine. So this one is a first video and uh, will focus on the from step one to step six. In my case, right now, I have this kind of testing environment. The host name is servercharl.com and this one will be HTTPS server. And in the browser, I can see these contents using like this, HTTPS colon slash slash www.charl.com. And the client, charl.com com this one will be the client systems the host name and ip address like this this one will be linux web client and this one will be used to test https on firefox step one secure socket radio we call this one ssl and SSL has two layer and pole protocols. SSL record protocol, handshake protocol, change cipher spec protocol, and a lot protocol. And SSL record protocol located in the TC, between TCP and layer four application layers. First, let's check the SSL record protocol service. SSL record protocols support two kinds of features such as confidentiality and message integrity. Confidentiality is an encryption system to use symmetric cipher system and this one will be encrypted by shared secret key. And normally this kind of secret key will be defined by handshake here. And for the encryption, the for the encryption handshake protocol will use this kind of cipher algorithm AES IDA RC2 dash triple dash potential and RC4 like this. This kind of the cipher spec protocol belong to the symmetric cipher algorithms. And uh, this uh, for the confidentiality, messages at first will be compressed before encryption. Second, message integrity. Normally, message integrity use MAC message authentication code with shared secret key by confidentiality. And this integrity is similar to HMAC, but the padding method is different from HMAC. Step 2, SSL record protocol operation. If SSL record receives the application data from higher layer, normally SS, this kind of data will be fragmented. And each this fragmented data has the 16,384 bytes as a maximum data unit. And if uh, uh, this data is fragmented, and of that next step will be the compression. But the compression is optional. And after that, uh, the MAC message authentication code will be added to this original data using SHA or MD5. And of that, this one will be encrypted by the shared kit. And of that, this one, the SSL record header will be added to this ordinal data. This is the SSL record protocol. Step 3, SSL handshake protocol. SSL handshake protocol located in application layer. 
and this uh, handshake protocol normally allows server and client to authenticate each other. It means server will authenticate client and client also will authenticate server. And also will be, this one will be the negotiate the encryption and MAC algorithm. For example, encryption, there are many kinds, for example, like uh, AES, DAS, Triple DAS, or RC4 like this. MAC algorithms, like a SHA or MD5 like this, after they negotiate, they will later the, the decide. And the negotiate the cryptographic keys to be used, what kind of keys they will use or not, like this. Number two, the comprise the sales of messages in parts. This is a kind of step to make a handshake between server and client. First, they will make or establish security capabilities. And after that, number two, server authentication and key exchange, client authentication and key exchange, and they will finish. So here, this is the step. Pass 1, pass 2, pass 3, pass 4. In pass 1, client will send his hello message to server and server also will reply to this message. In pass 1, client server, they will make a security capabilities including protocol version like version 2 or version 3 like this, session ID, cipher suit, and the compression method, and initial random numbers. After they are uh, exchange this kind of information, then the parse two server will be will send this kind of information like a certificate and the server exchange certificate request server hello done so if server send hello done it mean server finish this step and if server finish number two to send this kind of information then client will apply to this the request from server like a certificate and a client key exchange and the certificate verify for certificate from server like this and after that pass four if server and client are successful to change certificate and the key exchange then they will change the cipher spec at first, the cipher spec will be the pending state, but if they are successful to exchange this kind of information, then they will finish the current like this. And after that, they will finish this handshake protocol to send finished packet. Step 4, digital certificate. Digital certificate here, first you must know digital signatures. Normally for the signatures, we can use like RSA, LGAMA, or DSA. And this kind of algorithm has normally two keys, private key and public key. In signature, normally private key can be used to decrypt data, and public key can be used to, oh, I'm sorry, private key can be used to, to encrypt and the public key can be used to do decrypt the data. So if one key is used to encryption, then only the other key can be used to do decrypt. For speed improved security, hash, hash the plain text, the plain text original message, and the signed, and of that, this data will be encrypted. And number two, digital certificate, for the digital certificate, we can find the trusted certificate. And this kind of trusted certificate will sign our public key. For this kind of purpose, normally we use certificate authority. We call this one CA. And the CA has a public key, and this kind of public key will be known by anyone involved. And if the CA issue this kind of certificate, digital certificate, and the digital certificate will have this kind of information. Server's public key and expiration date, and the information about the owner 
of the key and information about the CA and the CA signature and information on how the certificate may be used for package installation like this. This is a digital certificate. And the, even if there are many kinds of the several the uh, digital certificate format, normally this, we use this one X-509 certificate. And X-509 certificate has this kind of format. First, the button number, certificate serial number, algorithm, the signature for signature, and issuer name, and this one period of the ballot. Normally, we use we will use one year for the ballot period. And the subject name, subject name means the owner of this certificate. And here, the the subject, you mean the owner, owner's public information, and the uh, issue unique identifier, subject unit, unique identifier, extensions, and signature by normally issue. So, X.509, the certificate has three kinds of versions. Version 1 only has from version to the subject public key, version 2 until subject unique identifier and version 3 is including extensions and the signature by issuer belong to all buttons for example if uh, even if you receive this kind of the certificate 509 the certificate has uh, the problem or compromised by attackers normally you have to revoke this certificate we call this one certificate revocation list in this list you can find this one for example this one user certificate serial here you can you can put uh, revocation date and here serial number four revoked certificate step six https https meant combination of HTTP and SSL or TLS to secure communication between browser like from the client and server from web servers and the HTTPS this protocol documented in RFC 2818 and even if you use SSL or TLS there is no fundamental change if you are the successful to configure or to start HTTPS, normally we can use like this number two, HTTP protocol name HTTPS colon slash slash URL. Normally HTTP use like this to include port number eighty, but HTTPS use port number four hundred forty three. And if we use the HTTPS, this protocol will encrypt this kind of information such as URL document contents, form data, cookies, and HTTP headers. Okay, here I will finish the part one and the part two I will explain how to configure or start HTTPS. Thank you for watching this video and see you part two.